Democrats getting ridicule for their pathetic attempt at trying to give President Biden a pat on the back despite soaring gas prices. The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee proudly tweeting out this cherry-picked chart showing gas prices dropping by two cents over two weeks. Even the Washington Post thinks it's lame, saying it might be the worst <laughs> defense of the Biden administration yet. What jackass thought this was a good idea and should said jackass be fired? <laughs> well, I, I think I should, look, we should defer to Jessica to make the one great point about how this all started so I don't jackass. take it. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> Because I don't no, want to say, so I no, want to steal well, your She point. already talked about it on America's Newsroom. But what is funny about this is it was a joke from Matt Iglesias, who founded Vox. He's a super lefty and has a, I very much enjoy his sub stack, I would say. And he did it as a joke. The DCCC took it seriously. It's been retweeted by Ron Klain. It's a really bad Y-axis. Yeah. Like, it's insane. More like why not axis. Yeah, yeah why not? Um, so that's a nice little distraction to the whole thing. There were some good things. The 4.2% unemployment rate is good. I imagine that the jobs number will be revised like it has been the past few months because 210 just doesn't sync up with it. I think we're at an average of 588 per month during the Biden administration, which is good. I know we're coming out of a pandemic, um, but that is the, the origin thing is that of the The chart. administration has these allies like the DCCC. The, that's the, basically the campaign arm that tries to get Democrats elected to the House of Representatives. And, you know, Maybe somebody thought this was cute. It does. There's no quality control, whatever. And it seems harmless, right? But it absolutely undermines all the credibility. Everyone from the Washington Post on down basically said, this is so embarrassing. You should never be allowed to do this again. Not almost as embarrassing as the White House talking about the July 4th, your barbecue is going to be 16 cents cheaper than yeah. it was a year ago. So, Greg, they don't know what they're doing. I See, I actually appreciate this kind of thing because it's a great lesson in data manipulation. We're living, we're drowning in data and all of, almost all of it is BS because it's, when the data comes out, it ends up being uh, manipulated in a way that it can't be trusted. So you ze what this chart did is that it zeroed in on the smallest increase and created a line that appears to be <laughs> dramatic when, in fact, it's just a tiny little thing. For example, let's say you hear about a study that says if you take the, the, the conclusion from this study is if you take this pill, it will cut the rate of illness in half, right? But then you read up and it was like it went from two people in 10,000 to one person in 10,000. So cut in half, but it's essentially meaningless. That's how you deal with da data. And, and you, it, it, the best thing you can do when, when you're, is take statistics courses, learn how to read stuff, take an economics class yeah. if you're young, because then you'll be able to laugh at this stuff and not get taken. Well, they did that with the coronavirus. Yep. So cases exploding 20%, yep. case went from four to six. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Something like that. Exactly. I don't know if the Democrats are dumb or they think the American people are dumb. If the Democrats are dumb, that makes sense to me, right? That would explain their <laughs> dumb policies. I get that. But if they think the American people are so dumb that they're going to see this and go, oh, Joe, thank you. I'm so grateful. Now, that really pisses me off because it shows a lot of contempt for the voters that, oh, they're just not even going to look at the fine print or they're just going to scan through and see this and just be deceived. And there's a difference between spin, which a lot of people do, and deception. And I know that difference because occasionally I will spin. You do. Occasionally. But never been been You know what, though? It's kind of like when people, people get taken by uh, this kind of data game are the same people that fall for, like, fad diets. Like somebody who's <laughs> like, like, you know me out. People that are, like, into drinking raw milk, right? Well, if you Bone do off. your research, you might realize that raw milk could be healthy All right. to some people. Let, I, let me continue. <laughs> The way that you're they've your, deceived people here. You're your left-wing progressive diet that you're peddling no, to all of us. this is what this is like, what they did. This what? is the scam. This is like when some 50-year-old woman with obvious plastic surgery tells oh. you she's 25 and she's never been under the knife. All right? That is taking someone for a fool. It's clear she's been under the knife. It's clear she's not 20 years old. That's what that chart is, all right? The other thing is, too, so when the price of oil and gasoline was going up $1.50 in the first, what, nine months of the Biden administration, Biden said he couldn't control energy prices. So then in two weeks, it goes down two cents, and he goes, that was me, guys. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, can well, you control it or not, Joe? And it's also what is so idiotic about bragging about the decline in gas prices is it's related to supply. So if you're in favor of increasing the supply of, of oil, then you should be in favor of pumping as much as this nation possibly can. Yep. That's what doesn't you're right. make sense. That's like, they're basically, um, it's like a, they cannibalize their own policy. Yes. Because they're like, uh, we want to 
have high gas prices because then you'll want to buy electric vehicles. But, oh, electricity is also expensive. Oh, okay, so now we want OPEC to pump more so that we can have lower gas prices, and then it's like a vicious circle. Cannibalization. Now, there's a doubt. Yeah, I mean, people, they're very thin. Those they're cannibals. very thin. You don't see a fat cannibal <laughs> at all. I was just going to say, to Greg's point, I think it's great now that people actually in polls look at the crosstabs and they see what group has been oversampled and make mm -hmm. their own conclusions. And now that we have... You're speaking his I mean, language. This is how I know you guys rigged all those polls, because I looked at the crosstabs <laughs> and you oversampled <laughs> Democrats like 15 well, percentage we, points. We won. No, but remember the poll in Wisconsin? Trump was going to lose by 17 points? Come on. ABC, Washington Post. How about Chitterelli in New Jersey? Another yep. poll rigging extravaganza. Yeah, and if a 50 year old's getting a facelift, she's really 70. <laughs> so, and she's never going to tell you she looks 25 because she won't. She'll just look like she has a facelift. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.